All right, the next one. F of x equals the square root of 2 minus 3x. Again, what we need to do is we understand, hey, we have a variable under a radical. The quantity under a radical has to be greater than or equal to 0. So we solve. Now, hopefully you guys remember from Algebra 2, when you're solving inequalities and you divide by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. So what we notice is my values of x have to be less than 2 thirds. And let's just think about a number line, guys. Let's just make sure this makes sense, because a lot of you hate fractions. So if here's 1, here's negative 1, 2 thirds is between 0 and 1, correct? Right? So let's just make sure this makes sense. If a number is less than 2 thirds, for instance 0, then that should be within its domain. So let's plug in 0. Right? Negative 3 times 0 is 0. You're just left with 2. Can you take the square root of 2? Yes, you can plug it into your calculator and get the square root of 2. Okay? Now, it's saying, so therefore, all values that are less than 2 thirds should be a part of our domain. But all numbers, that's in our domain. But it's saying all numbers then that are greater than 2 thirds should not be in our domain. So let's just double check. Let's, use, let's do 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Can you take the square root of a negative number? No. So yes, that makes sense. Right? So how do I write my domain if it's all the numbers going this way but stopping at negative 3? Well, that's from negative infinity to 2 thirds. So that one switched on us because we flipped the sign. 